Hi everybody, Chris Quisley, Math Specialist here in Albert Lee, Minnesota. I want to take some time today to talk about two-sided counters and what you can use those for to work with students to help understand number concepts. They're just like they say they are. They're counters with two different sides. These happen to be plastic, yellow and red. You can get them at many different outlets and retail. You can make your own through using construction paper and, and laminating it together and cutting them out. However you want to do it. It doesn't matter the color. What matters is it's a counter that has two different sides so we can use it for representation. So we'll, I'll get set up and we'll show you how you could, one activity you could do with your students with this. Here we go. So here I have my work mat. I have my two-sided counters as well as I have some numbers that was that are, have been cut out off of um, just tag board, tag paper, or heavy um, construction paper. And it's just a for, uh, format that a friend and I made years ago that helps with um, anything you need to math. You can use this with the middle school and high school with these, the fraction bars here. But today we're just going to use the, the basic numbers um, to get going to understand a little more about number instead of numbers and how to use the two-sided counters to do that. So let's say I have the number 7. So I want to put this up here and it's very tactile, have the students work with it. So let's just say a student knows, well, I know seven, I can count seven. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we've got our seven there. And then if you're working with the student or the student's working independently, or maybe students are working in partners or small groups, somebody could say, how, how can you make another seven? And so a student might say, well, I know that I can take one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, and then if you're working with the student or, you know, they can say, I have one yellow and then seeing one, two, three, four, five, six. An extension of this could be, um, is you're, you're working with it and you have them write that. So they have the number seven and it's, I have zero yellow and I have seven red, or I have one yellow and I have six red. And then you would keep doing this. Um, so I'm going to show you that. So after a child has come up with as many combinations as they can, then you would ask them, well, what do you notice? Well, they might say down here at the bottom, they're all yellow and up here at the top. And, you know, what you're doing is you're looking for patterns. You're asking them, is there seven in every row? How many are yellow? What do you notice? You know, do they start to notice that this last row is the opposite of the first row and that this row is opposite of the second row? And, you know, that we have these combinations, you know, that are they're opposite. And we know in math, when we talk about that, it's setting itself up for the commutative property because I know that zero plus seven is the same as seven plus zero and that one plus six is the same as six plus one. So just a way to use um, two-sided counters. There's many different ways. Um, I'll try to keep posting different um, ways I see our fabulous students using them as well as other strategies our teachers are using. Thanks for tuning in and um, have a good day doing math. Yeah.